Let's talk about project organization. If you like this video, hit that like button. Now, one of the issues that I'm going through, and I'm pretty sure most of you guys are going through right in your gaming projects, I have several gaming projects. I restarted them numerous times, is organizing your project. Now, this is by no means the, the only way or the, the final way, but this is just, and it's actually still going on as far as me figuring this out. I thought I would just try to share this with you. I have a new project here and I'll go over, um, we'll get to, you know, if you're using like a template project, which is pretty much what I use when I'm starting a new project. When you create a folder, this is an empty project. If you're starting, here's what you can do. So we can start by creating a folder. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to right click add new folder and let's call this game. Now within this game folder, this is where you're going to put, you know, your folder. You've probably seen this before and this, this is maybe standard to everybody. Name it blueprint animations for our, our levels. We want, to, we want to name this maps because I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in below, but I believe your levels need to be in the maps folder. And I also believe that I could be wrong. Your game needs to be in a folder in game. I could be wrong about that. I believe I'm correct about maps. And also there's another folder called movies and this is okay, but I believe according to unreal engine, um, it does this automatically. We let's say you go to projects and you add a movie here. Here, it's just going to automatically create this di directory for you. So this is okay in this top level. Uh, what I like about this, obviously, that you know it's like surface level and it's just very basically organized. Now let's move right back out to the the main content directory. What we want to do is add another folder. Now when I first started doing this, I was actually naming it something else. Uh, exclude the reason why, and I think exclude. I kind of like I, I like exclude better because it's 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 telling you exactly what it's going to do. This folder is going to exclude anything that we put in this folder. We're going to exclude. So let me name this exclude. Well, what do we need this folder for? Well, we're going to put pretty much everything in here um, that we don't need. And what I mean by that is like when you import something, you should imp what I've been doing is importing assets and stuff into this folder. Slowly and methodically, I import a bunch, let, let's say 200 animations and I only need 10. What, what I will do is I'll grab those 10 animations and grab them and move them over to this directory. Now, if you don't necessarily need it, you can delete it from here, but there are settings, project settings, and let's see, there's the project packaging and also directories to exclude. And the cool thing about this is that you can go and you can click exclude and add that. And in here, there's, there's another setting somewhere in here where it, it you can choose not to exclude, not to include a specific directory. So when you're packaging your game, you don't necessarily have to worry about content that you don't need uh, because all the content that you don't need is located in the exclude directory. And when you're packaging, you could just either delete it or just leave it there and just exclude it from the cooking or the, the packaging process. Now I said uh, originally earlier, it was named staging. The reason why, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm vain or something like that, or, you know, I'm OCD. When I named it exclude, it was uh, before the game because, you know, it's this is arranged in alphabetical order. But the reason why I named it staging, which also makes kind of makes sense, at least to me. So maps and if there's any if there's any other folder that w requires um, exclude works as well, too, because. We're going to exclude everything in this folder, but also staging works well because it's the staging directory where you all the elements or certain elements and you stage them, you get them ready, and then you pull them over into the correct directory. Now, when you're doing this, you have to be very slow and take your time and rename things and stuff like that in your staging folder. So you can keep this organized. And once it's organized and it's ready to move, you move it over to your game directory into the correct folder. Now, for those of you, like I mentioned earlier, you you may be starting from a template, which is what I actually do now because uh, I use a specific template where it there's menus already built. So I actually, when I start a new project, I create a project from this template because why reinvent the wheel? It's, it's fabulous. It took me a long time to figure out how to use, but it's great. But it causes uh, it, the way I've designed 
this structure what you see it's cause it causes problems and let me try to duplicate that so if you're not starting from scratch let me just let me add a feature let's see and so as you can see normally if you start from a, a template or another project you'll have all of these you'll, you'll start with these so what you'll do is basically you'll do the same you'll create your game directory so you want to add your game directory and your staging directory now unfortunately unfortunately what you'll have to do um one way you can do it is um you can grab all of these elements and before you actually do this and before i actually tried this i did i did this myself when i my my current projects i didn't just do this so you may want to you you, you want don't just do this after if you if you like this method don't just do this make a copy of your your your, your current game or make a new project and just practice this so you can know how it's going to work what i would do one way is the, the first way is what i would do is just manually go in here and just move the elements that i need over here that's one way the other way which you may or may not want to do is like after you make these the staging and game directory grab these and move all these elements into the staging directory it, it gets kind of messy as you can see uh, some of the folders or one of the folders has they should have all disappeared but it's, I get, it's normal for them not to you could do it that way and then these folders that are still existing uh, you can go over to the content right click fix up redirectories as you can see it says finds references to all directories in the selected items and resaves them if possible then deletes any redirectors that have all reference fixed okay so I'm gonna do that and as you can see it's still there sometimes what will help is um you can relaunch the project close down the project i'm not going to close it let me see if i can open up in another level so sometimes uh if you restart the project these, these stragglers they will disappear i don't think anything is in here if you reopen this project they should they should disappear but you can also delete them as well all right now you have everything in your staging directory that's one way the issue with this way is you're actually um this may break a lot of links and stuff like that so what i do is uh, you can just leave those in in this main directory and manually move each element yeah textures so i would come in here and i would manually grab and move these over to the correct directory now depending on this is meshes there would be a mesh directory and so on and so on and move that over to the mesh directory now if you need all every single element um, this is this is or going to take some time but that's fine you what you want to do is have your, your project organized and you don't necessarily have to do it one by one i mean obviously you can just grab all of these and move those over once you move those over it's going to break some links or what you can also do here's another scenario I'm, uh, you open up another a new project or from a template you bought this rpg pack template you open up your your project from the template that you created it looks like this and then you have all of your uh, your content in here we want to we we want this to be the game folder so you don't have to right click and add a folder and then move this over what you can do this is going to break the links and this is basically this is what i have to go through every single time i start a new game project and i'm using a template i have to go i'm using let's say i'm using the rpg pack i go and i rename this game and then i add my staging or exclude directory when you rename this to game it's going to break all the links or something like that it's going to it's good it's going to cause some link problems and your game is not going to work so what you have to do and you're going to have to do this manually when i use my uh my my template pack it's not that complicated because a handful less than 10 links are broken so what i usually have to do is after i rename this i right click content fix directories or maybe i do that last right click fix directories and then the the links that are broken i go to i have to go to the maps and fix the maps the links in here you're gonna have to just manually go through all of the links that are broken and it's going to take you some time because the links in the, the project that i use it's not that many um i have to specifically go in here and change the startup map the game default map the game instance be sure to that if your your project is not working that's a good reason why the game instance then i have to change the sounds obviously for each project let's see i have to go to audio and then i have to 
fix the audio but thank god there's only like i said there's only just like eight six or eight links that are broken so i don't have to do all this work um, w but beforehand i would highly suggest that you try this out on a separate project or copy you can actually duplicate your unreal engine project or you can zip it make a copy of it play around with it and if you break something which you're probably going to break something you can delete it and put your copy back into that unreal engine directory but that's just one of the that's that's just a method or I'm actually still going through this right now. It does take time and it is tedious, but it keeps everything organized what I'm finding. So again, to rehash, you, if you're starting a project from scratch, create a game fo a, a main game directory folder and then create a another separate folder that you're going to exclude or you can you can name it exclude or you can name it staging. When you import elements, import elements into that exclude or staging folder. Organize those and once you organize those one by one, group by group, whatever way you want to, you can slowly move those over to the organized game folder to their respective directories. Also be sure you're gonna need to have a maps folder for your levels. I believe if I'm if I'm wrong, please correct me below. If you're starting from a content pack, like I said, it's going to be the folder folder name is going to be named whatever the content pack that you are that you are using racing game template. What you'll have to do is rename the, the main racing game template to game and then add your staging or exclude folder when you rename. Yes, when you rename that folder, it's gonna break all the links. What, you, what you'll need to do is practice this in another on another project to see what links are breaking. Once you figure out or learn how to fix those broken links, what you can do is you know actually put this into actual play and try this in your actual game project or your future game projects.